Hello everyone, my name is Patrick McLean. I'm the CEO and founder of Bibs Inc., a leading technology company specializing in athletic events globally. So why am I here today? Um, I'm here to show you the different RFID readers on the market. We really want to help you feel comfortable with the products you're selecting and understand what the nuances are from unit to unit. So what units do I have in front of me? Um, pretty much every top manufacturer is sitting on the table right now. You've got a unit from Motorola Solutions, this is their FX series. You've got the Alien 9900 reader. You've got a product from Thing Magic called the M6. And you've got the Impinge R420. So let me tell you a little bit about some of these units, right? Right off the bat, you're gonna notice a few things. All of these units have Ethernet, right? So that's a standard connectivity option. Um, you don't, you aren't bound to wireless and you aren't bound to Ethernet, you can use either or. So all of these products have Ethernet connectivity. Uh, three of them, the Impinge, the Thing Magic, and Motorola, offer power over Ethernet. Um, so with one Ethernet cable, you can prov provide both power and network connectivity, making a very simple install process. Um, Alien does not, they have a proprietary power cord. Um, so that's something that's a little different on their unit. Um, outside of that, how are you connecting? So all of these units feature standard TNC coaxial connectors. So um, two units, the Impinge and the Motorola, uh, come in both four port and two port configuration options. Um, so if you only need two ports, you can save yourself some money, as you see here. Um, the Thing Magic and the Alien only come in four port models. Um, so that's something unique to their brands. Uh, but in general, we can tell you with confidence, all of these units perform extremely well. Now, I know there's a common misconception out there from some of the top brands in sports timing that say only our system can achieve this accuracy or we offer 99.9% .9 the best in the industry. I'm here to tell you that they're all full of it. They're taking off the shelf equipment that you're staring at right here, putting it in a box and charging you five times the price. So our software is here to help you unlock the potential of any of these units and deploy them for your environment. So what are some things that you're missing? Uh, a few things, right? We recognize that your events are outdoors, you cannot predict the weather, some are triathlons, there's snow, there's mud, um, so this thing needs to be waterproof, right? You need a good case to put this in. Um, not only are there a bunch of options currently available, uh, from companies like Pelican as an example, but we've gone out of our way to make a case specifically for race timers that addresses all of your needs. So we understand that, that weatherproofing is very important and the ability to keep these units intact. So a second thing that you're missing is the ability to power these units, right? You need the ability to run this off of a battery. So that's another uh, portion of this project that we've addressed and we feel that we have a very good solution for. Um, like I mentioned earlier, there's obviously cases on the market that you could purchase to Today, that would work great for this application. Um, we went ahead and made our own unit as well. So this goes along with our branding. It's a unit that we're calling Bolt. First thing you're going to notice, it looks about 10 times cooler than any unit you've seen before, right? Uh, go pull up any of our manufacturer's websites. What you're going to see is something akin to uh, NASA space shuttle in the 1960s. This stuff is very complicated and it's meant to be that way. They want to keep their costs high and they want to keep uh, expensive professionals in business. So what have we done? Uh, our whole philosophy is that you should be able to turn your race on and off with the push of one button. No other knobs, no other settings, everything you need should be at your fingertips. So again, press one button, this powers on the unit, this powers on the reader, give it about 120 seconds, whether you chose Ethernet or Wi-Fi, you're going to be connecting to your network and you can take it from there. As far as charging, same thing, you've got one simple port to come in, plug in your cable and this will charge between a three or eight hour battery depending on what you want. We can show you the multitude of options and the price points there and help you save a lot of money. So outside of that, we've built in four TNC connectors. So you can screw in panel antennas to these, mat antennas. If you've got your own mat antennas from the past that have BNC connectors, feel free. We'll show you how to get an adapter to connect it here to a standard TNC connector and you can use your old equipment if you want. To us, it doesn't matter. We want to enable a software platform that allows people to bring any hardware, any equipment, and run their system. So, another thing we designed was for almost any of these readers, uh, specifically the Impinge, the Thing Magic, and the Motorola, we made a very basic mounting plate. So these readers snap in, and then from this point, you're able to snap it into the case. So this ensures universal adoption. Doesn't matter the reader, doesn't matter the product, you're good to go. So, how can you help yourself? A few things. One, go to our website, www.mybibs.co. Chances are you might already be here. Two, send us an email, hello at mybibs.co. We'll get right back to you within 24, 24 hours. And I can tell you with 100% confidence, we are here to change this industry, lower your costs, lower your headache, and increase your profit. 
If you want to help us achieve that, we're ready to talk to you right away, and we look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you again. My name is Patrick McLean, and I want to wish you guys all a great day.